Hey guys, in the previous video, I showed the code on how to create a web chat application using React and Java. You can see behind me a quick demo of me showcasing it. Now I'll jump in to show in depth how the login and logout works in this React web chat app. But wait! Before showing you the code, there are some prerequisites to get this to work. The first is to have the Keycloak binary downloaded and running. Second, you need to download the Keycloak JavaScript adapter. And third, you need a database to point your Keycloak instance to. And in my case, I have Keycloak pointing to PostgreSQL database in AWS. Now the starting point to any React app is the index.js file. This is where you would mount your main React component into your root element. Now there is a Keycloak object that defines the Keycloak URL, Realm, and Client ID. This object is what will be used to have users get authenticated into your application. You can see that this Keycloak object is imported from the Keycloak-js library, and this library is downloaded from the Keycloak website in the Client Adapter section. This Keycloak object is passed into the main app component as a prop in the root render function. You don't need to worry about the other props for now, as they're not required for the logging in and logging out feature. Now before we go on, let's go ahead and start up Keycloak, and you can do that by invoking the standalone.sh script. Once it's running, we can log in with the administrative password, which I already have set up. And if you recall, the Keycloak object in the index.js file listed out the URL, Realm, and Client ID. And you can see that I already have that the Realm and Client ID are already existing in Keycloak, which is what we need. Now let's look at the main app component referenced in the index.js file. So let's open up main app.jsx, which has a class variable for a keycloak object, which is equal to the props that was passed in from index.js. And we have a logout URL variable, which we'll see later. Now the render portion of the main app.jsx sets up a browser router and route elements components, which helps associate a React component to a URL path route. In the first route, we can see a reference to the main page component where it gets passed in a logout URL and keylog object as props. For more information about the route and browser router element components, please see these two pages here. This is important and useful as this maps URL paths to components to be displayed. Now let's open up the main page component via the main page.jsx file. This was the first component listed in the route list in the main app components render function. Notice that this has keycloak and logout variables as well, and they're set to the props that were passed in. Now let's look at the render portion, and notice that there's a login in an anchor and span elements, and this has the init keycloak method associated with the onclick event. Also, you can see below there is a logout link HTML variable, and this logout link HTML variable is also an anchor and span elements which has a handle logout method associated with its onclick event function and it also has the logout URL class variable passed in. Now this method is actually in another file called common.js and you can see here that this function removes the keycloak info data from local storage and invokes a window location replace function with the logout URL passed in. So this means that whenever the user clicks on this logout function they will get routed to the main page even if they were previously logged in and just on some other page in the app. Now back to the main page component, let's go to the init keycloak method that you can see and it is using the state variable app keycloak which is set to the prop keycloak object that was defined in the index.js file. Notice the app keycloak invoking the init method. Here you can see some option fields being passed in. The onload set to login required indicates that when this method is invoked, it forces the user to be logged in via keycloak. The redirect URI indicates which URL the user should be routed to upon successful login. What you can see here is the chat page component. Once again, this app keycloak object is referencing this keycloak instantiation in the index.js file. Now, as a quick reference, here is the common JS file that has the handle logout function that is referenced by other components and see how it's exported. This is how other apps can import this to invoke it. Now, here in the main page.jsx file, at the top, you can see how it imports the handle logout function from the common JS file. Now, let's open up chat page.jsx and notice here at the top that it also imports the handle logout function from common JS. This is how we can actually invoke the handle logout function from various components using this import method. 
Now looking at this class's state variables, it has both the key cloak and logout URLs passed in as props. So they're all referencing the same objects that are passed up by the parent components. Now if we go to the render method, we can see that the handle logout function is being invoked by the onclick event for the span with the logout text. And here's the handle logout function again in the CommonJS, which as you can see removes data from the local storage and then routes the user to the logout URL. Okay, I'm going to demo the login and logout feature of this Rack Chat application and it's using Keycloak as the authentication service. And if we look at this page here, you'll see that there's this login text. And if we look at the render method here in the main page US or .jsx, you'll see that this login text does have this init key cloak method that's bound, bounded to it. And it gets invoked whenever you click on it. And if I scroll up to the top, you can see that this init key cloak method is going to be invoking the app key cloak init method, which will force the user to be logged in. And it's going to actually have this uh, redirect URI, which basically says if the user successfully logs in, it's going to get routed to this page. So if I go ahead and click login, you're going to see that it hits this breakpoint. And if I just kind of just go through it all, you're going to see that it's going to take me to the key cloak login page for this application. So if I go ahead and click on a user that I already have created and just click sign in. you're going to see that I am now routed to this chat page URL, which once again, if I show you here in the main page.jsx file, you'll see that the redirect URI is routing me to the chat page upon successful login, and that's exactly where I am right now. So now if I go to the chat page URL, or chat page JSX file, you'll see once again that there is a render function. And if you see here, uh, let me see if I can find it one second. Here is a handle logout function that is invoked. And you can see this actually gets, this is assigned to the onclick event for the logout text. So this logout text here, once I click that, it's going to invoke this method. And this method is actually passed in through the common JS file, which has the handle logout method. And if you see my, if you recall from the code that I showed earlier today, this is something that is exported from the common JS file. You can see that it's exported here. And then the, the chat page itself, if I scroll up to the top, does have this handle logout function imported from that file. So if I scroll to the right over here, you can see this imported from common.js. So if I go ahead and let me just set up a breakpoint here in common.js, once I click on this logout, you're going to see it's going to get inside here. And it's going to do two things. Aside from logging, it's going to go ahead and remove the local storage variable for keycloak info. And then it's going to do the window location replace with the logout URL passed in, which you can see here is going to force the actual user to be locked out. So if I do that, I am now back over here to the main page and I am officially logged out of the application. And that's it for this little demo. So once again, this is just showing the login and logout feature of the web chat application that I did with React. I will be doing more videos showing the other features in a little bit more detail, so hopefully these will help you um, get a better understanding of how this application was set up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So thank you for your time, guys. Appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.